here's some health nut tips for my good friend Lisa and Leslie. I want to tell you about garlic's influence on cancer. I mean, we, we may know that garlic is very powerful as an antimicrobial, antifungal, and it doesn't seem to do anything to our good bacteria, but only our pathogens. But today, I want to talk about its power on cancer and tumor cells. There's a certain compound in garlic that's creating this effect. It's called allicin. This comes when garlic is crushed. You can also get it from supplements. But what's good is it harms the cancer cell, but it doesn't create any harm on our cells. I can put, there are research, there's a lot of research. So for one, it reduces the growth of tumor cells. Number two, it, in humans, in human studies, it inhibits cancer growth, not just in mouse studies, but it also, number three, it causes the cancer cells to induce apoptosis. Basically, the cancer cells commit suicide. Number four, it's anti-proliferative. This word describes the spread or growth of the cells. Garlic is stopping the growth of cancer cells. Number five, it's chemoprotective. There's a lot of chemicals in the environment and garlic reduces the toxic effects against chemicals. This also includes chemotherapy. So if someone has cancer and they're getting chemotherapy, garlic can help protect them from the toxic effect. Number six, allicin, the compound in the garlic, can induce autophagy in human liver cancer cells. Basically, autophagy is when the body is breaking down certain cells. Now this is mind-blowing that garlic can do this. You'd think this would be a headline in every newspaper. Now you know the powerful effects that garlic can have over your immune system.